Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be super dope. I'm super excited to make this video for you guys. I've done this before, but I'm gonna get a little more in depth on this video, which a lot of people don't get in depth on this subject. If you guys don't know, I'm Gunther the Great. Subscribe if you guys are new. I do a bunch of stuff about hair. I just recently combed out my dreadlocks. Now I have curly hair. You know, the thing about hair types, I have about a four. A or a 3C hair type. Pretty cool hair type to have, especially coming from me, I guess. <laughs> I wanted to entertain you guys today by doing just some hair routines. I actually did two hair routines in this video just to add into the subject of hair growth, how to grow your hair quicker, how to grow hair fast. I'm gonna give you guys a solid facts on how to actually grow out your hair. I'm not gonna just tell you a hair routine that's gonna make your hair grow. I'm gonna tell you the actual facts of hair growth and how hair actually grows. So give this video a thumbs up. We're gonna get straight into it. Just wanted to take a quick break and give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is glassesusa.com. All their information is going to be in the description. So be sure to scroll down and click on that at the end of this video. And the reason why I mentioned this is because you guys always ask me where I get my glasses from. And glassesusa.com has all of the glasses that I really like. And I know a lot of you noticed that I like to wear the turtle turtoise, whatever. I don't know. What is it called? Turtoise? I always wear that style, whatever it is. But glassesusa.com actually has over 4,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands and designer brands. And don't worry, you can get prescription glasses because I have to get prescription glasses as well. And just to throw in, there's a special offer. So be sure to go down to the description box to see that special offer. Now just to add on to all this hype, the lenses are of the same high quality you'll find in any glasses store. And also another cool thing to add in is that they have a virtual mirror to where you can upload a photo and try on glasses for yourself before you actually get them so that you don't get any glasses that you don't like. So it's basically a risk-free shopping experience. And the reason why it's risk-free is because it has free shipping and you can return with 100% money back guarantee. All right, now that you know that glassesusa.com is really awesome, you can make sure to click the link in the description box. Obviously after watching the video because this video is gonna be awesome. And like I said, guys, please do not forget to click the link in the description because you're going to find yourself some really awesome glasses for a really great price and really great quality. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this 100%. So let's get into the hair growth facts. But your hair begins growing from a root and the bottom of the follicle. A follicle is basically where the hair starts. And it's the root of the hair. Like if you plant a seed for a plant or of a flower or of a vegetable, that's basically it. The follicle is almost the seed. And the root is made up of cells of protein, blood from the blood vessels in your scalp feed the roots, which creates more cells and makes your hair grow. The hair gets pushed up through the skin as it grows, passing an oil gland along the way. So as you can tell, hair growth basically comes from having a healthy scalp and just having healthy circulation. It looks like if you have good blood flow and your blood is flowing to the scalp the way that it's supposed to, that would create healthy hair growth. A lot of people say you have to use products to promote hair growth if you're balding or simply if you just want your hair to grow faster. But the truth is right here, your hair begins growing from the root and the bottom of the follicle. And your root is made up of protein and blood from the blood vessels in your scalp feed the root and that makes your hair grow. Now if you notice that your hair actually passes through an oil gland along the way. So this tells us that your scalp naturally has oils, which this can spiral into so many things. If your scalp is dry, it can be harder for your hair to grow. And what you're dealing with is stunted hair growth versus slow hair growth. A lot of people are trying to figure out how to grow their hair faster versus trying to grow their hair normally. And if you're looking right here, according to the US Center of Disease Control, scalp hair grows at an average rate of 0.5 inches or 1.25 centimeters per month. So this tells us that your hair only grows half an inch a month. So this means that the average person grows about six inches of hair per year. Now this is on average, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. The rate in which your hair grows is based on all the facts that are listed right here. As long as your scalp has good blood flow, as long as your oil gland is producing oils, and I would just say just being healthy. If you stay healthy, your hair is gonna be healthy and it's gonna grow healthily. This is a great representation right here of how your hair grows and what are the stages of hair growth. So if you're reading from left to right, we see that there's an antigen, which is the active growth phase. And this is after three to six years. So your hair is at its healthiest growth at three to six years, and it grows the best at three to six years because it's the active growth phase. So if your hair has actively been growing for three to six years, it's at its most healthiest stage. And then next you see the catagen, then this is the transition phase. This is about one to two weeks. And then you got the telogen phase, which is the resting phase. This is at about five to six weeks. And then you got the return to the antigen, which is the hair matrix forming new hair. And this happens after the hair 
falls out. One thing that you have to know is that when the hair falls out, it typically doesn't take the follicle with it because then if the follicle comes out, then that means that you would not be able to have any hair growth whatsoever. But this is a great representation of hair growth and what are the different stages of hair growth. So we can see that your hair benefits mostly at three to six years versus the one to two weeks or the five to six weeks, or I would just even say in the earlier stages, you know, one year to two years. So I think the best time to take advantage is if you constantly been growing your hair for three to six years, knowing that this is its most healthiest stage. So now that you know the facts and how fast your hair grows, it's easy to understand how to actually grow your hair faster. So with all the representation that I just showed you, it's best to just look at your hair and maintain it the way that you have it and maintain it the best way that you can. And it's very simple. Don't put strain on your scalp. Make sure that your scalp doesn't dry out by overwashing it. Make sure that you stay healthy, drink a bunch of water, just be healthy, like choose a healthier lifestyle. And it just makes everything a whole lot easier for everything, your hair, skin, and nails, and just for yourself in general. But another thing people seek is outside sources or outside products in order to get a healthier scalp or healthier hair growth. Products that you'll see typically are shampoos or oils. This is actually an oil product from the main choice. And it says that it's hair growth oil, but this is honestly just a label on a bottle that tells you it's hair growth. And they have things in there that are naturally supposed to produce on your scalp already. But I actually believe if you add this stuff to your scalp, your scalp is going to stop producing it. It's going to become immune to the actual oil and probably start producing. If you notice people that drink a bunch of coffee, they become immune to coffee to where the coffee doesn't even have an effect on them anymore. I feel like it's the same thing with hair products. If you constantly are using this, you're gonna lose what you naturally produce and you're gonna have to constantly keep using this. Just like people that take testosterone or steroids. If you do that, you're gonna naturally stop producing testosterone because your body's gonna be so immune to taking the external testosterone. So it's very important to take all this into consideration, but these are some of the products that people do use is the hair oils, We'll see them use the shampoos, and we've also seen people take the vitamins or the gummies, and even something like this, a laser cap, which is FDA cleared, obviously. And if you did choose any of these products, I would recommend you to use them at the antigen stage, the three to six years of hair growth, because that is the stage that is active growth. You can't use it on any of these other stages because it's not going to be effective. So in all this, to tell you the truth, the quickest way to grow your hair is to just grow your hair because the more you grow your hair, the more your hair would want to grow. But I'm going to walk you through a little bit of my journey of my hair growth. This is actually the beginning of my hair growth journey, which was January 2015. And obviously my hair was growing a little bit before this. It was probably December around the time when I actually cut my hair to start regrowing it. So this was over four years ago when I started growing my hair. And then we go on to when I started my dreadlocks, which was in February, 2015. So I almost reached the four year mark on my dreadlocks before I combed them out. And then the month after February, we see that there's a little more hair growth, but not much. My hair is still standing up at this point. My hair is probably about three to four inches. And then moving to the end of the year, December, 2015. So this is a year of hair growth. We can say that this is probably a healthy six to seven inches of hair which according to the CDC, the hair grows about half an inch a month, which makes it grow about six inches in a year, which is perfect for the representation right here. Now this picture almost a year later, we can see that I have a bunch of growth. My hair is about 10 or 11 inches right here, which is another good six inches of growth after the last picture. So we can see that my hair growth is going quicker with the longer my hair is getting, and that's how it works. The longer and the more patient you are with your hair, with your hair growth, it's gonna grow longer and keep on growing. Now jumping all the way to July 8, 2018, where my hair is about 16 inches and my hair was actually almost halfway down my back. Now, if I would have had a full head of dreads, my hair would have been halfway down my back. Um, but with my hair being 16 inches, you can see that I got a lot of growth over the three years that I had my dreads or this is about three and a half years. Now the biggest change is when I combed out my dreads. My hair looked really short, but the thing is, is my hair was actually the same length if you look at this picture right here, but we can see that my tips were destroyed. My hair was super thin at the tips and yo, I ended up trimming my tips and now we're here, but obviously my hair looks super short right here. But with my hair looking like this, my hair is still at about, I would say probably about 13 to 14 inches because I did end up trimming the tips of my hair just so that it would appear more full overall. But you guys, that is my journey of my hair growth of four years of going from, you know, from cutting my hair to getting a high top fade to eventually getting dreadlocks and then having dreadlocks for almost four years and then eventually combing out the dreads to now with my hair being about 13 to 14 inches after all of that. I would say that's a pretty good turnout. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me that you guys tune in for today's video. Let me know if this helped you out. Comment down below with something that you didn't know before. 
because I know this is a lot of information that a lot of people don't tell you, but I know it's a lot of information that is helpful for everybody who wants to grow their hair. And like I said, guys, please do not forget to click the link in the description because you're going to find yourself some really awesome glasses for a really great price and really great quality. So than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.